Over a span of several years, the United States Army lacked a dedicated light tank. The previous effort to develop a light tank, known as the Armored Gun System Program, led to the creation of the M8 Buford, but this project was terminated in 1996. Consequently, the U.S. Airborne Forces faced a deficiency in firepower. There was a requirement for a light, agile, and swiftly deployable tank that could fulfill roles akin to those of a main battle tank in low-intensity conflicts. To address this gap, the U.S. Army attempted to bridge it by introducing the M1128 fire support vehicle based on the Stryker Armored Personnel Carrier in 2007. This 8x8 wheeled vehicle was equipped with a 105mm turret. However, the M1128 Stryker mobile gun system soon exhibited various shortcomings, including its vulnerability due to light armor and susceptibility to mine explosions. Production of the M1128 was limited, and plans were made to replace it with a new light tank. In response, the U.S. Army initiated the Mobile Protected Firepower MPF, program in order to procure a new light tank. Requests for proposals were issued in 2017, leading to three contenders, General Dynamics, BAE Systems, and a collaboration involving SAIC, ST Kinetics, and CMI Defense. General Dynamics proposed the Griffin II light tank, BAE Systems presented an enhanced version of the M8 Buford, and the collaborative team suggested a light tank variant based on the Hunter Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The Hunter, equipped with a 105mm turret, was selected in 2018. BAE's proposal was disqualified in 2022, leaving General Dynamics Griffin II as the sole remaining option. In the same year, General Dynamics was awarded a $1.14 billion production contract to manufacture 96 light tanks for the U.S. Army under the designation M10 Booker. The initial delivery of tanks was projected by the end of 2023, with plans to equip the first unit with these tanks in 2025. Originally, the U.S. Army intended to acquire a total of 504 of these tanks. Once in service, the new light tank is set to operate within infantry brigade combat teams, which prioritize rapid deployment and maneuverability for counterinsurgency operations. The tank's primary role is to provide direct fire support for infantry assaults, capable of engaging fortified positions, buildings, and field fortifications. It also serves to eliminate enemy machine gun positions and snipers. The Griffin II light tank, distinct from the earlier Griffin Technology Demonstrator, employs components derived from the British Ajax light tank. It features an M35 105mm low recoil gun, with compatibility for various types of ammunition. Equipped with advanced fire control systems, thermal imaging hardware, and a panoramic sight with a thermal imager, the tank offers a hunter-killer engagement capability. The tank commander can detect and identify threats at considerable distances. Additional armament includes a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a 12.7mm machine gun on the turret roof. The turret, constructed from aluminum alloy armor, resembles a scaled-down version of the Abrams main battle tank turret. It features composite spaced armor and add-on armor for enhanced protection. The tank's hull is based on the Ascot II infantry fighting vehicle, though with significant design modifications. The hull reportedly offers protection against 30mm rounds on the frontal arc and 14.5mm rounds on the sides, in addition to safeguarding against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. The tank is equipped with a Metrovip Pilar V acoustic gunshot detection system for crew warning, and it operates with a crew of four, commander, gunner, loader, and driver. Propelled by an MTU-MT881 diesel engine producing 1,100 horsepower, coupled with an Allison automatic gearbox, the tank boasts a hydropneumatic suspension. Remarkably, the new light tank is air-transportable, with AC-17 military transport capable of carrying two of these tanks. Considering the $1.14 billion contract for 96 tanks, the unit cost of this light tank amounts to nearly $12 million. This figure likely encompasses training and servicing expenses. 
Consequently, the Griffin the Second Light tank currently ranks as the world's most expensive tank, surpassing the costs of more advanced main battle tanks. However, it is anticipated that unit costs will decrease as mass production commences.